Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Honey. Today I have another custom code for you. Have you ever downloaded the perfect custom codes and you love them so much, but there are just a couple of pieces that you want in order to um, just bring it up just a little bit. So I really wanted a sidewalk and some accent pieces for this custom code that I downloaded. The code itself is gorgeous. It's perfect. It's beautiful. It'll work both in my city and my country areas of my island. I'll go ahead and put the creator code for the creator of that code because it is not my code. However, I did want those pieces that to match it and there weren't necessarily any that came with the code. So I decided to make my own. And that's something that you can do if you ever, you know, download somebody's code and you love it so much. All you have to do is match the color palette, which you can do on acpatterns.com, which I do have a video for that that I can go also link in the description below if you want to figure out how I get like my color palettes. You just basically take a picture of it, go to acpatterns.com, and then um, it will create the color palette to match what exactly what you're doing. So I, you do that and then you go back and start creating your pattern. Now, as I said, that is a simple sidewalk tile. It is the base for the rest of my codes. I also wanted one that was gonna be like a tile, like for a, like a street, like if I wanted to use it as a road code, I have one kind of similar on Rosewood and I really liked it, but I need one that matches this island, that matches this stone path that I'm using. So I went ahead and made another one and it was pretty simple. You just, every eighth square, you add another dark line to indicate where the tile ends or begins. And then you add your shadows and then your highlights and then you texturize them and kind of use one below and one above in hue in order to kind of like add a little bit of variation. So that is what I've, I did here. I didn't make them all exactly the same just because um, you want a little bit of variation in these tiles to make them a little bit more realistic. I did go back and I made the dark brown a little bit lighter uh, afterwards because I felt like it looked a little bit better, just slightly lighter anyway. But it stayed in the same color family, therefore it still matched the original code quite perfectly, which I'll show you a picture of at the end. But I like doing this where this island is a 30 day challenge for me. So I do not have the kind of time where I can make every single custom code for this island by myself. So I went code shopping and I was given a lot of really amazing codes by you guys because you guys are amazing. And I went and just added my own little touches here and there in order to like make it a little bit more personal and just to at least have a couple and also to have some little accent pieces. So I did want like a couple of center pieces as well, like some highlight pieces that would be pretty just tiles. And I thought because it's a Valentine's Day Island, of course, nothing says that better than a rose, right? So I figured I would use the last four colors that I had slots that I had available on this palette and like make like a little rose kind of pattern. And I just played with this and experimented it with it. You're welcome to take a screenshot of the final version and copy it. But I, I literally was just kind of making this up as I went along. I didn't have like any kind of a template or anything. So I was looking at the little canvas over there and just hoping for the best. That's that's pretty much how that went. And I think it came out okay. I'm, I'm pretty okay with it. The same thing I did with the other tiles. I added a highlight and a shadow and then I went in and texturized them as well as the center piece. Now I kind of decided I kind of wasn't sure if I wanted to go and leave this as is or if I wanted to maybe change it a little bit. So I did save this version of the pattern and then I made a different version of it where I added another square that was just kind of plain 
and I moved the rows up into the corner and just kind of added like a little, just a regular plain tile, like a larger plain tile down on the bottom. And I'm not sure which one I really want to go for. I like them both. So I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Which one should I use for my island? I'm not sure. I do like them both. Um, I find the line tool to be really easy to create texture. That way it doesn't look too dot like dot 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 like every other dot or too patterned or too like you know what I mean. It looks a little bit more whimsical that way. And then at the very end, I wanted one more accent piece without any actual color, just a little bit of a texture piece. So I went ahead with this diamond um, situation. Pretty much anybody can make this one. It just looks like a little raised kind of diamond that I thought would be maybe a fun little um, tile to have to match this code. I just thought like maybe for like a side, like not a sidewalk, but a sitting area or something like that, it would just look nice and it would kind of go with the rest of the codes. So I, I just made some stripes along the bottom to add like a little bit of texture with the raised diamond. And then I went and added some shadows to give it um, a little bit of life and make it pop just a little bit. And that was it. It's a very neutral, very basic. It would pretty much go anywhere. And I like that. So this is what we have. This is the finished product. So thank you for taking the time for watching my video. I know you guys could be doing absolutely anything in the world. And the fact that you spent any time with me just really warms my heart and makes me so happy. I thank you guys all for being here. I love you. I hope you have an amazing day or night and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.